Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Patience. To my existing subscribers, welcome back. If this is your first time here, be sure to click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can continue to indulge in the Hot Bella experience. In today's video, we're just going to be playing in makeup. I try to haul or do haul videos with you guys to show you new products as I purchase them, but there are lots of instances where I'm purchasing products in between hauls and that's what I've got going on today. I've got some products that I've picked up from Dose of Colors. I'm also going to be trying out a new primer today. This is from LYS. And since we are in the summer months, I am going to be airbrushing my complexion and I'm going to be using the MAC Face and Body Foundation in my Temp 2 airbrush today. So we're just going to kind of talk through it. This will be a little bit more relaxed than some of the other videos that I do, but you know, I just want to play around with some of these things and I want to play around with these things with you guys. So uh, for, let's see, where we're going to start, where we're going to start. So my skin has been moisturized. I used my Tatcha water cream to moisturize my face today. I also toned as I normally do using my Elements Rehydrating Ginseng Toner. Love that toner. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply the primer. This is the LYS primer. So the recommended usage is to apply a thin layer to clean moisturized skin. While blending, you'll notice the formula begin to grip, which will allow makeup to last all day. Then we have to let it set fully for a full 60 seconds to dry before applying foundation. And then it also states that you can skip foundation and this can be worn as just a regular skincare serum. So this is really good because it has niacinamide in it, which helps control the appearance of pores. It's got ginger root extract in it, which promotes even skin tone. And then it also has an AHA fruit blend which is orange fruit extract, lemon fruit extract, bilberry fruit extract, sugarcane extract, sugar maple extract, and all of those extracts are to smooth and even the look of texture. It also has grapefruit extract, which brightens the look of dark spots or hyperpigmentation. So sounds wonderful. This is from LYS Beauty and this is their Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. So let's get this on our face. I'd also like to mention that this is an item that came, oh, this is kind of runny. Okay, not what I expected. I'm glad I was able to recover from that pretty quickly. But um, yeah, I was saying this is an item that came in one of my BoxyCharm Premium boxes. I've gotten uh, some other products from LYS in my BoxyCharm Premium boxes and I like the LYS brand of products. They're really nice. Okay, so the one thing I can say about this primer is that it is very liquidy. So even though it's coming in a tube, I still have to be pretty careful because it's, it's runny. Very liquidy. Okay. So it says I need to let this sit for a full 60 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and get my brows done and then I will come right back. All right, so my eyebrows are done. My eyelids are prepped. I used my P. Louise eyeshadow base. My P. Louise eyeshadow base is a constant in my get ready or my makeup routine. Um, I like it. I've been using it for quite some time. For those of you who have been watching my channel for quite some time, you know that I've been using this for quite some time. And I like it because it does a good job of canceling out any type of discoloration that's going on on my eyelids. It also allows my shadows to show the true color um, without there being any type of transparency or any color from my actual skin tone showing through. If the eyeshadow is brown, I think adding a eyeshadow base allows it to appear in the purest shade of brown on your eyelids. That's just my opinion. But yeah, my eyes are ready to go. So let's jump into my Dose of Colors box here. You can see that. I've got two products from Dose of Colors I'm gonna be using today. One is the Truffle Eyeshadow Palette. And I found out about this because, you guys, I have subscribed to various makeup brands. So I get emails from them, I get text messages from them about sales that are going on, new product releases, those types of things. I wanna stay in the know, so yeah, that's what I did, and that gets me in trouble. I like Dose of Colors. They've got several palettes that I like. I've got a couple of Dose of Colors eyeshadow palettes in my collection. One of them was the, I think it was the Desi and Katie collaboration that they did a while ago. 
that is a really pretty palette uh, that was from dose of colors but I saw this one and I thought that it would be good for some of my neutral toned down type of everyday looks as well as amping it up whenever I need to with some of these shimmer shades or, or with either one of these shimmer shades so this is what the actual palette looks like really really pretty and I also picked up this stay glossy lip gloss from dose of colors it's in the shade macchiato if you can see that very very pretty color and the formula i love the formula of the dose of color lip products there was a collaboration that they did with naima tang not too long ago and uh that's where that really dark chocolatey brown shade uh, came from that collaboration and then a really I think it was a vibrant orange that also was a part of that collaboration I picked up a few things from that I picked up the darker color but I didn't pick up uh, the orange color but for this macchiato you can see what this looks like it is pretty neutral on me but you can see it there so we're gonna add a liner to that in order to make this lip gloss work for this look I think for the Rob on highlight, I normally use some form of shimmer shade, but I'm going to switch it up a little bit today. We're just playing around. So I'm going to use this shade right here. This is a lighter type of shade out of this truffle palette. It's a matte shade. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to use this as my Rob on highlight. Mm, I don't know. That might not be light enough. Okay. Yeah, I think I need that to be a little bit lighter. So, no worries. I think I'm just going to go in right on top of this with uh, one of my default highlighters that I use as a brow bone highlight. This is from MAC. This is in the shade Beaming. So, I'm going to just put this right on top of that just to amp it up just a little bit more. So this shade right here, this shade is called Seasoned, and I am going to use this as my transition shade. In the pan, this shade looks a lot lighter than what it's presenting here on my lid. But I am going to build it up to my desired level of intensity. This is going on very smoothly. In my opinion, it blends out easily and it's easy to work with. I'm going to use this shade right here. This shade is called Gravity. And I'm going to put this in my crease area. I am getting a little bit of kick up in the pan here. But in most cases, I find that if I'm using a particular type of brush, that that can be the reason for me getting a lot of kick up in, uh, in the pan. And it, you know, it can also be just a general formula, but if I'm getting more pickup than I desire, then I just tap into it a little bit softer. And that seems to resolve that problem. In most cases, if it's really my, my doing or not doing that's causing the kick up, making the adjustment works it out. All right, if it's a bad formula, it's just a bad formula. It's going to kick up regardless. I really love a pink and brown combination when it comes to an eye look. I don't know why I like the way those two colors look together, but I really do. I think it's really pretty. I'm going to go back to the brush that I used to apply my transition shade and I'm just going to soften up just a little bit. Just marry these two colors together just a little bit more. I'm not adding any additional eyeshadow to the brush, just Gently marrying them together just a little bit more. I'm going to take a little bit of this shade right here. This shade is called Wild Truffle and it's the deepest shade in this palette. I'm going to place this just right here on the outer V. I think I'm going to change brushes here for this shade. I think I'm going to go to my MAC 242 because my MAC 242 is good for packing that shade onto that outer V. You're getting it really precise, really deep, darkening that up just the way I want it to be. But you guys know that my 242 is my go-to brush.
All right, I've used my P. Louisa eyeshadow base to do my little half cut crease type situation that I always do, or most of the time that I do. Um, there are some times when I don't, right? Um, but I'm gonna do it for this look today because I really want to see how this palette works for me when I'm really trying to put together a really nice look, right? Not necessarily just everyday, even though these are everyday colors or they're kind of on the neutral side. Again, still, I wanna, I wanna jazz it up a little bit. So I've done that and I'm gonna just soften up the edges like I normally do. All right, I think that is good. I think I'm liking that. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go back to my 242 real quick. Where did it go? Here it is. Because I think I'm kind of losing a little bit here on the outer V. I wanna keep that there, so we'll put it right back. Just in case I've blended that away a little bit more than I want to. But so far, I'm liking this. It's looking a little more cool tone to me than I thought that it would. I don't know, maybe that's just where I am in the process right now where it's just picking up more of the cool hue that's in this brown because this is definitely a cooler toned uh, brown. This is wild truffle. But yeah, I like that. That's looking really pretty. I'm now gonna use this shade right here. This shade is called Allude. And this is a, it's like a uh, mauvey, rosy colored matte, it looks like in this palette. I'm gonna place this right in the areas where I don't have any shadow on my lid right now. Primarily focusing on the mobile lid, taking it up just a little bit past my natural crease line, right in here like so, just a little bit. That's really pretty, super pretty. I think I'm gonna go back to my 242 real quickly here. And I'm gonna marry these two together, just a little bit more. I really like this. And I'm tempted to stop right here, but I want to use, I wanna use this shimmer shade right here. This is called Glisten. And I really wanna add that into this look, so. I'm gonna do that. I'm going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to add this in the corner, I think. Just press it in, right in the corner, take it out a little ways. I'm placing it right on top of that rosy mauve type of color. And I think to bring some of that mauve back into this, I'm gonna go back to the palette again. I'm gonna use my smaller blending brush. Okay, I think I'm gonna venture into this color right here. This is called Tarte. So I'm gonna take some of this and I'm gonna finish off like I normally do. You guys have seen me do this, how I just add a little bit of color towards the upper part of where I've got my eyeshadow placed just to Give it a little bit of shape. So I'm doing two things I think with this. I'm giving it the shape but I'm also trying to add some of that rosy kind of color back into it. I hate saying rosy. It's not really rosy. It's more like a mauve type of color. Hmm. I liked it better before I added the shimmer shade on top. I really liked how that pink was really showing through a little bit more. But um, this is not bad, not bad. I'll remember next time that I use this palette that I don't have to add any shimmer on top of that pink, on top of this shade right here. This shade was called Allude. I believe that was it, this one right here, Allude. So that was really pretty if I would've just left it alone. This is pretty too, but you know what I'm saying. All right. I'm ready to move on to liner. So let's get to that. For lining my waterline, I am going to use this 
pencil. This is from Makeup by Mario. And this is a brown eyeliner pencil. I think that's going to be really pretty with this look. I've used this brown pencil several times now and I really like the shade of brown that it is. What is this called? I think it's called the perfect brown is what it's called. And it indeed is the perfect brown. Very nice. And for my top lash line, I'm going to use this brown tattoo liner from Kat Von D. I picked this up a while ago and had totally, totally forgotten about it. But uh, I'm bringing it back into play today. This is what it looks like. Let me give this a shake. It has a very fine felt tip type of point to it. And I'm going to line my eyes here. I am going to add a little bit of mascara. I am going to be using lashes today. I like to add a light coat of mascara to my lashes before I apply my falsies. All right, I am done with the eyes. Eyeliner is done, eyelashes are done. I've also added a little bit of my Tasha Pearl in my under eye area. And I am going to try out this Dose of Colors concealer. I purchased this a while ago. And already off the bat, this is looking very, very light. I've been doing a lot of online shopping and girl, my online color match is not always on point. <laughs> it's just not. So we're going to see what we can do with this. Um, I got the Dose of Colors uh, concealer here. If it is too light, which I think it's going to be, I went ahead and pulled out my Pat McGrath Labs uh, concealer as well to kind of help me bring everything back together. So... I'm going to start off with just a little bit of this and see what this is going to look like. Okay. It may not be too, too bad. We'll see. All right, let me start blending this in. I don't know how quickly this is going to dry down, but we'll, we're about to find out. This is my first time actually using this dose of color concealer and it is definitely giving me some coverage which is awesome I need the coverage in my under eye area which is one of the reasons why I use this type of brush to tap in my concealer instead of using a sponge right away I'll follow up with a sponge but for the most part I like to go in with this brush first because that guarantees if the product is going to give me any type of coverage this brush is going to help me to get the most coverage out of it that I possibly can. It's rather light though. Indeed it is. And just for the record this concealer from Dose of Colors is medium tan. The shade number is 20. So not too bad. I'm going to move on to carving out my face just a little bit. I'm going to use my Tarte Clay Foundation Stick. This is in the shade Rich Honey. You guys have seen me use this numerous times. You know who she is. She is not a stranger to the party at all. So I'm going to use her today since my uh, concealer is really brightening up under the eye. I think that she's going to be warm enough to help me pull all of this together. I'm also going to try out this highlighter today. This is from Grande or Grand. I think it's Grande Glow. And this is a plumping liquid highlighter. I got this in a BoxyCharm box. It's now time for foundation. So I am using my MAC Face and Body Foundation. And I am in the shade C7. And I'm also using my Tim 2 Air. You guys have seen me use this before. So let's get her turned on and let's apply the foundation. All 
All right, to set my under eye, I'm gonna use my Peaches and Cream. This is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, the Powder Contour Kit. It's a very old product, not very old, but it's not a new release by any means. Um, I think you can still find this. If you can't find the actual contour kit itself, you can definitely find the Peaches and Cream, the individual shade uh, on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website. But I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes using this. And I think to set my entire face, I am going to be, I am going to use one of the powders I have not used in quite some time. Since we're playing in makeup today, you know, we're doing some new stuff, some old stuff. So this is from Cover FX. This is their perfect setting powder. And I'm using the shade Translucent Deep today. This is what it looks like. It's got a little protective cap here on it. So I'm going to use this shade. Hopefully it's not too deep for me, but we're going to see. So, um, wow, this may be deepening me up too much. Uh, so yeah, this kind of took me where I wasn't planning on going, but now that I'm here, we shall deal with it. It's pretty. It's just too warm. I guess if I were... I mean, I could make this work. So if I were going someplace, I'm not going anywhere. We're just playing in makeup right now. But if I were going someplace and this were to happen to me, um, I probably would end up taking my airbrush and going down just a little bit further, really lightly down here so that it wouldn't be quite so obvious, right? Where it would just kind of blend in together. I would probably do that uh, just to make up for or to compensate for the little fiasco that we've got going on here. And I'm also going to add a little bit of my Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I've really been liking this here lately. This is one of the newer um, setting products that I've purchased, but I like it. I like how it just really helps everything to gel together. It is now time for lips. I'm gonna be using my MAC lip pencil. It's in the shade Chestnut. I'm gonna use my little small lip brush here. And I'm just gonna smudge this out a little bit. And then I'm gonna use this Macchiato lip gloss from Dose of Colors. And put her in the center. She's very pretty. Add just a little bit more. Just like that. And this look is done, you guys. So let's sum it all up, okay? Um, I think this look turned out really, really pretty. I think it's a nice glowy look for the summertime. Again, my foundation is airbrushed, so it's feeling really light on my skin. It feels as if I'm not wearing anything. For the Truffle Palette from Dose of Colors, this is really pretty. This is a really pretty palette. I think I'm going to be using this as we're going through the summer because it's a palette, first of all, it's going to be travel friendly because it's smaller in size. There are eight pans, as you can see here, but you have a color story that's going to give you a lot of variation. So you can do a lot of things with this. If you wanted to, in this palette, you have shades that you can use for those one and done type of eye looks, right? You don't have to use multiple shades. You can just use one and it would come out gorgeous. But yeah, this is really beautiful. I love how the eye look turned out. Super glad that I picked that up from Dose of Colors. And this Macchiato Lip Gloss, girl, this is so pretty. But this Chestnut Lip Liner, this is gorgeous super super pretty the concealer from dose of colors this is in medium tan and it's in the shade number 20. i think that this is a really really pretty concealer it gave me really good coverage and even though in the bottle i thought that this was going to be too light for me i think that it worked out just fine i actually like this concealer quite a bit for this look i did not use any blush because I'm finding these days that blush is becoming a little bit more on the optional side for me. And it could be because of my makeup application. Since I am doing some heavy contouring, uh, by the time I get done blending that out and applying my foundation and things like that, you know, that pretty much can be enough. 
I think for the highlighter that I use, the liquid highlighter, you can still see that even though I put foundation and other powders on top of it, you can still see that really, really well. And I think that it's really, really pretty. So yeah, I'm overall satisfied with this look. What do you guys think? I think it turned out really well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.